Holly Johnson with Coach Greg Carmel for this week's Hockey Coaches Show. Uh, Coach, uh, Friday night, probably one of the more complete games of the season. And Saturday, a great college hockey game. Unfortunately, the Saints uh, came out uh, on the short end of the score, but it was a 2-1 to -one game with four minutes to go and ultimately uh, clinched the home ice by. Yeah, the, the one thing about this team this year, we, we've been a little bit inconsistent, but when our back's against the wall and we play with desperation, we, we really raise our game, and I thought that was the case Friday night against Dartmouth, who was playing for that same bye that we were. It was, a you know, obviously a playoff-style game, and, and that's as good as 60 minutes as we've played against a pretty good uh, team in Dartmouth. Um, they were able to get ahead early, 2 nothing on, you know, the first goal was a bit of a fluke, and second goal breakdown on our part but uh, our team was composed and we, we had a game plan going in and our compete was really good we played we played a fast hard physical style and uh, our game plan we worked on through the week was getting a lot more pucks to the net and I think we ended up with 38 shots both nights which is well above average for us um, but that, that was just a real good full team 60 minute effort on Friday night, on Saturday, I really liked our game too. I, I just felt the difference was the goaltending. Uh, Madsen for Harvard, I thought was outstanding. Uh, I think he again had 38, 37, 38 saves. And uh, what he did well was, you know, we had some good scoring chances. He made those saves, but at times when we were just trying to get pucks to the net for rebounds, he he really sucked in a lot of pucks and uh, didn't give us a lot to to bang in. Unlike Friday night, where I think we scored three three rebound goals. Um, Harvard is, you know, I, I thought we neutralized them five on five. They have one of the top power plays in the country and ended up scoring two goals and basically what was a three to one game. And we scored one power play goal, but, you know, we had a five on three opportunity in, in the third and we had a penalty shot in the third. Both times were to tie the game and, and we weren't able to. And, and then they got the power play late in the game and, 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 and put it away with the, the goal there. So um, two playoff style games. Uh, against two pretty good teams, and now we'll just sit back. I'm very proud of this team. To get the bye two years in a row in this league is not an easy feat, and um, I can't remember. I think it was just us, Quinnipiac, and Yale are two teams that repeated that from last year. So, uh, you know, that's a company very proud to be in, and last year it proved to be very beneficial, and I think it will be again this year, and that will get – uh, healthy, hope to get Mike Graham back in the lineup and, and give Sean McGovern and a couple of guys like that who've been nursing some injuries, uh, get them you know, back to 100%. And I think if we're an energized team and we're a desperate team, which we will be uh, when, when we host the next round, uh, I really like the way we play. One of the things that uh, was really noticeable, uh, I think, in both games uh, was the play of uh, freshman Jake Pritchard. He put on a, he uh, circled the net about three times uh, against Harvard, and that's a tough team to circle the net on, uh, looking to set up a pass. And he's had a great 10-game uh, scoring streak, a uh, great second half. And uh, how much uh, has he been a major factor in, in the, the great finish for the Saints? He's definitely one of the guys that is, is his game is notched forward at the team is. I think Tommy Thompson's another guy whose game has come. Uh, I think Nolan Glukowski game has, has come from, from uh, the second half of the year. There's certain guys who we were kind of taking the lead for us and uh, maybe Pritch more so than anybody. He came in with really high expectations to be a forward that was going to produce points for us, even as a freshman, and fortunately broke his thumb early in the season, and, and that's a tough setback. And I don't think it was until after Christmas that he finally found some comfort in his game. And now he's been on our first line for the last month, and uh, to have a 10-game scoring streak as a freshman is, is really impressive. And I think he finishes the season uh, tied for the second most points for a freshman in our league. And he's a, and he's a plus player too. And now he's, he's on the power play, and he's getting very important minutes. And like you said, when you watch our team play now, he really, he really comes off the page. He, he's, he's fast, he's poised, he's, he's one of these offensive guys that just wants the puck on their stick cause, and then they, they, they make things happen. And that's a huge, you know, huge addition to a team to have, have a freshman that, that can come in and play with that kind of confidence. So um, he, I think the last month he's really been, he's probably been our, our best forward. He's uh, stat wise, he, he, if you have a 10 game point streak, I'm sure he must have the most points of anybody over the last 10 games. 
and uh, you know he's been a guy that will I'm sure lead us through the playoffs as well. Another guy, uh, I think uh, we're probably used to seeing him do great things, certainly offensively and and great defense uh, as well. But uh, Gavin Bayreuther becomes the first Saint defenseman to ever lead the team in scoring for a regular season. Uh, I think that says something about the balance, but also says something about Gavin's offensive off, uh, abilities. For sure. You know, we don't have a, a forward who's an All-American caliber player at this time right now. So it gives a, an offensive defenseman a chance to lead a team in scoring. And, of course, Gavin doesn't do that unless he's a real high-end offensive player. I mean, he is, I've said this before, there's not many defensemen that when they shoot, they really shoot to score. And he, he and most of his goals are to go over the goaltender's glove in the, in the top part of the net. And, and that's a, a, you know, that's a goal scorer's goal for a defenseman. And, um, you know, we rely so much on our defense to, to be part of our offense. I saw today that uh, we have three defensemen that lead the league in, in shots on net for defensemen, numbers one, two, and three. So uh, our defensemen know that they're asked to, to help out offensively, and Gavin is, you don't have to ask him twice. He's, he loves being in the rush. He loves having the stick on his puck, and he's got tremendous poise, but ultimately he's a shooter, and he's, he's one of those guys that the, he knows how to score, and then the puck goes in for him. We'll be back next week with a look at the quarterfinal series as the Saints are likely to host Clarkson. Uh, it's an outside shot. It could be Princeton. but uh, Well, it wouldn't be Princeton anyway, but it might be Clarkson, probably. Thanks.